Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Sorry, I got my computer shut down unexpectedly. So I'm back yeah. online, inshallah. Can you guys see my screen? Maybe no. not yet. Okay, I think now you can see my screen, right? Yeah. Yes. So, inshallah, we are starting with words tonight. And uh, uh, this concept is not new to us. I think we have covered, uh, most of my previous students have covered this several times. But inshallah, this time, I have a feeling that we have more understanding and this concept will sink in better. So inshallah, let's talk about it. So we know in, uh, in Arabic, the speech is known as kalima, right? And we said that the parts of speech are three in Arabic. One of them is ism, one of them is fail, and one of them is harf. Now we covered the ism in quite a bit of detail. Agree? I guess uh, you have to unmute your mics to answer me. Let me see. Okay. So then the second part we are going to cover is fail. Now fail is in English is known as a verb and verb mean it's an action. Like something is happening. So we are doing an action. Is everybody clear on that? Is yes. you, if you guys have your mics unmuted yet or is still muted? Oh, let me check. Yeah, I can hear you, so you're fine. But other people, okay. either they have to speak up or their mics are not set up properly. Okay, anyways. No, it's okay. For me, it's yeah. Open now. yeah, finally, I can hear some voices. That's good news. That's a good sign. Okay, so please uh, interact with me because that helps me keep going because otherwise I feel that I'm talking to myself. A um, so verb can change the state, basically. Say that again? A, a, the, a, a verb can change the state. Yes. Like, you know, we were talking about uh, like, like a noun being like a book or something and then, you know, if you add a verb, so, you know, he wrote, he wrote a book or something. Yes, so verb is an action. Now, the difference between, uh, and it's also a name of an action. Like, for example, sitting, eating, uh, talking, walking, you know, these are all actions and they have names. Otherwise, you wouldn't know what to say when somebody's sitting. So we need to know the name of the action. The same thing is true for the ism, because ism was the name of a thing, person, or a thing, uh, or a place. Now, what is the main difference between a fail and the ism is the reference to time. What does that mean? We all know that a fail, a action can be done in the past or action will happen in the present or in the future. If it's, a, it's, it's the present, is happening right now. In the future, it will happen in the future. So the fail or the verb is of two kinds. One of, them, one of them is known as fele madi. What is it known as? Fele madi. Meaning, it's the past tense. What is the, what is the name? Past tense. And another name for the past tense is perfect tense. Why is it a perfect tense? Because we know the action is complete. If something is done, done in the past, do we have any doubt about it? No. No. So that is why... It is known as a perfect tense. In any other languages, we have three tenses. We have the past tense, the present tense, and the future tense. However, in the Arabic language, we only have uh, the past tense, and present tense and future tense is in one. It's combined in one and is known as pele modare. What is it known as? And the name is imperfect tense. Why? Because the action is not complete yet. Because if it's happening right now, the action is not complete. And if it's, on, if it's going to happen in the future, the action has not even started yet. Does, that, does this concept make sense? Because this is a high level understanding we want to have before we move on. Yes. Any questions so far? The sisters are very quiet today. Yes, thank you, sir. Okay. 
All right. So if this is the case, we need to understand how to make verbs. Okay. And we already know that that 99% of the words in Arabic language has three root letters. For example, if we have a verb, fa'ala, how many letters you see in it? Three. 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 And the meaning of fa'ala is he did. What is the meaning of fa'ala? He did. Uh, did. He did. That means fa'ala by default a verb is always in the past tense. Remember the noun? We said a noun by default is always in the rafa st status. Remember that? Yes. Okay. So we are going to start with fa'ala. Now the question in your mind should be should not be why, it should be how and what do I need to know to understand this? Because why is not a question because this is something done by the people of the language and they are just telling us the rules and we just have to follow it. So if I say why, I'm going to be making it hard for me myself to understand. So fa'ala, I agree, accept, but I just need to know why fa'ala or what is fa'ala and how do I make more tenses from this. Okay, so just to make the concept easy for you, in Arabic language, the verbs are made up of patterns. Okay. What did that mean? Now, the sisters might understand this. I'm going to take a household example. Let's say this is a piece of dough. Okay, this is dough. I can even make it called cookie dough. Okay. Now, if I have a cookie cutter like this, right? If I put it in here and press on it, what kind of shape will come out of here? Star. Star. So that cookie cutter was a pattern, right? Right? If you have a cookie cutter like this, no, something like the, like a flower. And if you put it in here, what will come out? Flower. Flower. So the verbs are made up of patterns, like the cookie cutter. Okay. And the most basic default standard pattern is fa, ain, and la. Letter fa, ain, and la. Making sense? Yeah. Okay. So they are known as. Okay. So, okay. Let me see if I can show you this in my notes. So you see what's happening over here? What is that sound like? Yeah. Daraba. Daraba. Fataha. Fahada. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So, another note I want to show you. If I have it here. I don't have it here. Okay, right here. So it has a fa letter as the ein letter and the long letter. The, what, the way it's designed is the haraka for past tense is all fatha. See, fatha, 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 right? The ein letter is the one which can take the other Arab. What are the other Arab? The Dhamma and Kasa. Right? So we know that the Arab we have in Arabic language is the Dhamma, Fatha and Kasra. The way the, the, the template works or the pattern works, that the first letter and the last letter, they always have the Fatha in the past tense. However, the Ain letter 
is changeable. It can, it can also take a Dhamma or Fatha or Kasra. You see what happened here? Fa'ula, Fa'ala, Fa'ila. You see how I'm making the variations? Fa'ula, Fa'ala, Fa'ila. So you can have these three different variations. But only the Ain letter can have the variation, the Fa letter and the Lam letter will always stay the same. Is that making sense? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, we said about ism. What did we say about ism? That ism has four qualities or four characteristics. Can somebody name them? Gender. Right now we should have no those, right? Gender, gender, gender number, number. Gender, number. Gender, number. Status. 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 Okay, very good. So similarly, I'm gonna I'm going to talk about the verb, and we're gonna talk about at least two characteristics today. One of them is gonna be gender, and one of them is going to be a number. Okay. So, so how many total characteristic brother verb has? Just two or these are the most two important ones at the moment. So let's not complicate the 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 situation let's just focus on these two and as i come across new things i'll let you know i just want to make it short short uh, concept right okay so let's talk about if we make this uh, chart so we are going to have wahid right number wise what is the second one Musanna. Musanna, jama, jama. Right? Then we are going to have the gender on this side. So we're going to have Muzakkar. Right? And then we're going to have Mohannas. Okay? Now one more thing we, we studied. Did we study the third person? Yes. Yes. And did we study the second person? Second person. Third person. Muzakkar and Monas. Okay. And then we also studied the first person, Muzakkar and Monas. Making sense? Okay. Yes. So just to refresh your memory, what did we learn when we were learning the detached pronouns? What did we learn? That yes. whole Okay, so the question we have to ask ourselves if there is an action happening, if there is an action happening like Fala, and the translation I did was he did. Do you see who are here somewhere? No. no. It's hidden. It's hidden. So what we have to train our brain in knowing this, that whenever there is a word, there has to be a doer of that action. Right? Yeah. Yes. Right? So yeah. in order to know the doer of the action, we are going to rely on our knowledge of the pronouns and which ones the detached ones okay. so hold tight we'll come back to this so wahid will be fa'ala musanna will be fa'ala Fa'alu. Fa'alu. Okay. Now let's do the translation. Yeah. Isn't it the Dhamma? Fa'alu? Yeah. Dhamma. So he did. Fa'ala mean he did. They did. How many men? Two. 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 
and they did more than three. Two plus men. Making sense? Yes. Okay. Now, if we have to write the pronouns with them, what will be the hua? The first will be hua, right? Yeah. And the second no. will be? Huma. 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 And the third one will be? Om. Om. And we said these are hidden in fa'ala. Fa'ala is huma and fa'alu is hum. Okay. You're not going to ask me why. This is how the Arabic language has been designed. So yeah. when I say fa'ala, the translation was he did because huwa is hidden, hidden. in fa'ala. Huma fa'ala, huma is hidden in fa'ala. And fa'alu, the home is hidden in this. But they're not hidden in the form they are. Like we don't say fa'ala huma. We don't say that. We say fa'ala or the fa'ala, fa'ala, fa'alu. Fa'ala, fa'ala, fa'alu. I'm doing a little bit extra long here because of the alif here. Fa'ala, fa'alu. Making sense? Yes. Uh, brother Abid, yes. uh, it's uh, fa'ala, so if the ad, we put a fatha or dhamma? Which one? Fa'alu. The ayn, in, yeah. This one? Yeah, the ayn, yeah, in the middle, yeah. Fa'ala. This is all fa'alu, this is fine. The, the, the last ending is the wow alif, right? Fa'alu. And here is the extra alif, which is inside here. And it's okay. fa'ala. Yeah, my fa question is that in the middle, the end, is it, uh, we put a fatha or dhamma there? Fatha. fatha. Yes, fatha. fatha. Yeah. Okay, fa'alu. Okay? It should be all fatha everywhere. So if in I say uh, fa'ala, you would know that it is he did. And the pronoun hidden is huwa. Fa'ala, the pronoun hidden is huma. Fa'alu, the pronoun hidden is hum. If we do the female part, okay, if we do the female of that, so it will become like this. Let me show you. Okay. The root letters are fa, ayn, and lam. In the male third person, Fa'ala, fa'ala, fa'alu. Fa'alat, what this is, sukoon. Fa'alat, say it with me. Fa'alat. And the pronoun hidden is which one? Yeah. Fa'alta. Fa'alta. Fa'alna. Fa'alna. Then in the second person, the second person will be? Uh, okay, if you, want to do the, if you do the translation, she did, they did, um, two female, fa'alna, they did, two plus, more, two plus women, right? What is fa'alta? You did. You, you, you did. did. You, you did. did. Because it's past <coughs> tense, right? Then the, the thing is, fa'al, there is a alarm in between and it's a sakun and the ta has the fata on it. And what is the hidden pronoun in it anta anta fa altuma antuma fa altum antum okay this one is easy then fa alti is anti fa altuma again same and fa altuna that that the female the fa alta is you did male fa altuma you did two male fa altum you did all uh, more than two male Alti, she, uh, you did female. Altuma, you two did female, and Altuna, you did all three of you or more than two. And for the first person, we have Altu, Faalna. Faalna. Making sense? Because from the uh, from this Faaltu, Ana, and Nahnu is the last pattern for the for the pronouns. Faalna will be. For also for Musanna and for Alna will be for the Jama. Okay, making sense? Yeah. This is, yeah. Okay. Any questions, guys? Mashallah, we have twenty-three people, and hmm. I only hear one or two people talking to me. 
I hope everybody else can participate. Sister Zahra, are you able to follow us today? I'm just trying to process. Uh, okay, so let's process required. this together. Yeah. Let's process this together. Okay. If we talk, if we participate, then we, your mind will act better. Okay, so what we have done so far, okay. let's talk about that. We have said that today we are going to understand a verb. Okay. Mm -hmm. Verb is nothing other than another term in Arabic language, which means an action. So what is an action? Action means when you do something. For example, eating, talking, sitting, running, walking, you know, or something else, hitting, opening, closing. These are all actions. The important thing about action is there is a concept of tense in there. Tense means whether that action was done and is complete, that means it was done in the past. I ate yesterday, done deal. I ate and finish. I am eating, is I'm doing it right now. Or I will eat, meaning at some point in future, I'm going to eat. It could be sometime soon, sometime could be far. Maybe I'll eat tomorrow or I'll eat after one hour. Okay, so this is how I'm going to process a word in my mind. So when I'm looking at the reference to the time, I know that, that the action which is complete is known as fele madi, is known as fast tense, and it's also known as perfect tense. When thing is happening in the in the present or in the future, for that I have fele modare, and I call it imperfect tense, and the action is not complete yet. Moving forward, we are only going to focus on fele madi until we master it. And then we will jump over to Fela Mudare at a later stage. Okay? Okay. Then the second important concept, in Arabic language, 99% of the verbs have three root letters. And their default pattern to learn or understand verb is Fa'ala. And what are the, the letters here? The three root letters are the letter Fa, letter Ain, and letter Lam. Okay? And by default, a verb is always in a past tense. And eventually, we will learn how to change them into fele modare. Okay, like in the, in the future tense. And then again, because we need to know the, who is the one who is doing the action. So the zamir or the pronoun is hidden in the past tense. And what? how do we know? We need to know the third person, second person, and first person that... What are we, who's doing the action? Is somebody doing the action who is a, a third person? Or you are the one who's doing the action or I am the one who's doing action, right? And for yeah. those, we had understood the detached pronouns in the previous session to an extent that we know now how to use the pronouns. If, I, if we don't know at this point, then we, we kind of lost the couple of weeks worth of work, yeah? But I'm pretty sure that everybody now understood huwa, huma, hum, hiya, huma, hunna, anta, antuma, antunna, or antum, anti, antuma, antunna, na, ana, nahnu. So if you practice again and again, this should be like a, at the back of your, you know, like, you know, the way you know the back of your hand, you should know these by the back of your hand. Okay. Now, detached pronouns are in what status? Rafa. Rafa. Because if they are in Nasab and Jar, what do we call them? Attached pronouns. Attached pronouns. Very good job. Okay. So then what else I told you that in Arabic language, the three harakas we are familiar with is the Dhamma, Fatha, and the Kasra. And in the pattern, the Fa letter stays the same and the Lam letter stays the same with the same haraka. Only the middle letter can change the haraka. So fa'ala can become from one pattern to three patterns, meaning it could be fa'ula, fa'ala, fa'ila. The meaning changes? Uh, the meaning, yes, it could change the meaning, but uh, I, will, I, I will come back to that. I don't want to cover that right now. Okay? So if we have to make a pattern on fa'ula, what, what did we make the pattern? We made the pattern fa'ala, right? How about if I say, 
Paula. So our pattern now changes to Pa and Lam Paula. So what will be the Wahid? Paula. 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 No, 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 no. Again, you have to follow the pattern, right? Because the, there is a Dhamma. So Faula, Faula, Faulu. Okay? Making sense? Yes. Then it will be? Faulat. Yeah. Faulat. Sorry, I missed. That should be Faulat, yeah? Okay. And then Paulna. Paulna. Okay, you got the idea, right? The first one is like Paulna, uh, yeah. Yeah, Paulna. Yeah, that. Oh, that Paula. I was sukun. Sorry, Paulna. Okay. So the idea is this, guys. Let's let's play a game again. Then let's try to do something. How do I do that? Okay, we have a pattern pa and la. No. Okay, and then I give you another root letter. I say the root letters you're dealing with is fa, ta, ha. Right? And I want you to make on the pattern of this these three root letters. So what I'm going to do, this is what letter is it? Fa letter, right? And this is ein letter. And this is lam letter, right? Yeah. Okay, if I do if I do the mapping, which is my fa letter? Fa. It happened to be fa, but I'm talking about the position. The position fa is the first. Then what is my ein letter? Ta ein. Ta is my ein letter. What is my lam letter? Ha. Ha. So now if I put it back in there, so instead of uh, fa, I'm still going to have fa. For the ayin, what I'm going to have? Ta. Ta. And for the lam, I'm going to have? Ha. So fatha, fataha. 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 Fataha or fata mean open, to open. So what will be the translation of fataha? Key open. Key open. Key open. Key open. Making sense? Yes. You see how the cookie cutter is working now? That I said, Fa'ala is our pattern. Then Fataha is, or Fataha is the new root letters. You need to make it into this pattern. So what you did, you said Fataha. If I have given you the pattern, Fa'ula, then you would say, fa Fatuha. Now, that doesn't mean that this, this word exists. I'm just giving you an example. This might not be a good example. Okay. But the point is, if somebody gives you the letter, all you have to do is follow the instructions and just put it in that pattern. So if somebody says, give me this pattern, then you will say, Right? Whether this is right or wrong, I'm not talking about that. All, all I'm saying is, if somebody is giving you this information and giving you the root letters, you just follow and you just copy it the way they want it. Okay? Because in the, in the, in the future lectures, we will learn how these pattern works and what basic information needs to be provided before you can convert them into that pattern. Making sense? Yes. Okay, yes. so now let's take another example. Example is Daraba. Okay. What are the root letters? Daraba. Ra, ra and Ba. So are we familiar with the Arabic alphabets? Yes. Okay. So what is my pattern? I am looking for Ba. So who can tell me what is my ayn let, uh, my Fa letter? So I'm I'm simply going to say the ra, 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 ra. Ra. 
and then I know that the pattern has all fataha, so I'm going to say all fataha. So what is meaning? He hit. Daraba means hitting. Okay. So this is the easy part. Now we know that when we make a table, there are 14 combinations. How many combinations? 14. 14. Why? Because how many pronouns we have? 14. 14. So there could be 14 possible doers of this action. Right? A person who is doing this can have possible 14 variations. If I want to say he hit, then I have to say daraba. If I want to say they hit two men, I'm going to say Daraba. Daraba. Right? And if I say they hit Daraba. Daraba. Darabu. Daraba. Daraba. Darabu. Imagine what I'm saying here. I'm saying Daraba. Daraba. Because I'm saying the alif longer. And Darabu. Why? Because there is a wow in here and there is an alif. Daraba. Daraba. Darabu. Say it. Daraba. Okay, guys, one at a time because I'm not gonna hear anything. Okay, Sister Fazila, you go ahead first. Daraba, Daraba, Darabu. Very good job. And then uh, Umar. Yes. Re Repeat it what Sister Fazila said. Daraba, 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 Darabu. Okay, uh, Brother uh, Abdul. Brother Abdul is not there. Brother Alta. Daraba, sorry, Daraba, Daraba, Darabu. Very good job. Anybody so else wants to? I, I have a question, brother. Yes. You yes. said that uh, Lam letter will not change their uh, sign. Yes. Whereas in Darabu, it's a B is a Lam letter. Why its sign is changing? Okay, so that is changing because of the number. Because I said that in the Fala category, they don't change, right? Okay. So Darabu, obviously, there is a hidden pronoun. So that is a variation coming with that pronoun. So inshallah, once we get to be more comfortable, we'll see all these variations and it will start to sink in. So, but in the in the present uh, format, the Fa'ala format, the Fa and Lam letters, Haraka doesn't change, but the Ain letter in the past tense is the one which uh, changeable. Okay. So let's stick with that for now and then we'll take it from there. Okay, this is the third person, right? Male. Now I want third to say <coughs> two hit. Male. <laughs> what will be the male of you hit? Darabata. 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 Darabat. 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 Yes. Is it you? Mm, no. Yes. Yeah, it's you. It's for female. Yeah. Yeah, it's for female. Oh. It's for female. It's for female. Darabta. Darabat is for female. She, she okay. is, yeah. So it looks like you guys are paying attention. You're right. So yeah. this is not. This is she. Yeah, no. She. Hit. That's right. And uh, this but... is female. She hit. Okay. If I want to say, they hit. Two female. Darabata. Okay. Remember, it was Faalat. Faalat. Actually, I made it wrong. Faalta. Faalat. Yeah, Faalta, yeah. Then Darab and then Faalta. Yeah, that, right. So same yeah. thing. Darabata, darabat. Then yeah. what will be the the third part? They hit more than two. Darabna. Darabna. Okay. I think there's no alif here. Yeah? 
Darabna, like that? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. So, what is the time? Oh, 10 42 already. Okay. So, let's go back. Okay. So, just to practice again. If the fa'ala is the one we are practicing, fa'ala, fa'ala, fa'alu, fa'alat, fa'alata, fa'alna, fa'alta, fa'altuma, fa'altum, fa'alti, fa'altuma, fa'altunna, fa'altu, fa'alna. Right? Okay. Similarly, if we have another letter which is zahaba. Zahaba means he went. The action of going somewhere is Zahaba. So when we say Zahaba, he went. Zahaba, they went, two men. Zahabu, they went, three men. Zahabat, he went. Zahabata, she went, or they went, two women. Zahabna, they went, all two, more than two women. Right? You went, male. Zahabat, Zahab, Zahabta. You went. Zahabtuma. They you went two of you. Zahabtum, you went all of you. Zahabti, she went. You went she. And Zahabtuma, same thing. She, uh, uh, she uh, you went both of you, both female. Zahabtunna, you went all of the females. Okay, Zahabtu, I went. Zahabna, we went. Is that making sense? Yeah. Assalamu alaikum, Ustaz. Wa alaikum salam, rahmatullah. I am just a little bit uh, confused about uh, the, the the added. So when you when you write this uh, the hafta, for example, mm -hmm. it didn't. You weren't conjugating it or converting it into the detached or attached uh, form, but rather you went back to the default state. Okay, and if we the look at the fa'ala. For the rafa, you have wow and ali. Are we at talking about end, this one, uh, right? Yeah, yes. The d yeah. Yes. So fa'alta is supposed to be the one with the huma, right? Yes, yes, I understand that. But the ending is different. You know, we... Um, so subconsciously, you understand uh, which pronouns belong to which uh, the, um, for the wahid muthanna and jama'a. But for example, let's look at the jama'a part. We have fa'ala, fa'al. I do not understand how there is after the lamb, there is the wow and alif. Is that from the, the default original state of the status now? That is how the fail of fa'ala is written in the jama form and you understand that there is a home yes. hidden in it so it is yes. a standard way of writing it and that's why we need to memorize these that this is how it works fa'ala is the musanna because the huma has taken contributed an extra alif here yes. and the home is changed into wow alif here wow alif okay so we have to remember these that is why I said we don't ask why, but we say how, right? So this is how the patterns have been defined. So fa'ala, if it was hua in there, uh, you know that it should be fa'ala hu. Yes. That's fa hua. So it's not like that. We have to understand that fa'ala has a hidden pronoun in it and it's hua. Yeah. And how do we say it? We say it fa'ala with the extra uh, fata on the law, right? Okay. Okay, so I know it, it is kind of confusing, but this is how uh, with practice we will learn these things. Okay. Brother Jamil, I think your video came on. Okay, so then this, uh, based on this pattern, I took different words and I took Zahaba, right? That's why Zahabta or Zahabu based on your answer. And if you want to understand this better, 
because we are doing kind of a review here. Uh, if you remember this uh, screen, I'm going to show you that screen. And that might help you a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to share with you in a couple of seconds. So I'm just trying to open it. Okay, let's look at this screen. You share this one. Can you see this screen now? Yes. Okay. So look at this. Hamidun Zahaba. Okay. Here, Hamid is present as the file. The Hamid is the one who went. So the translation of this will be Hamid went. You understand? Yeah. But when we have Zahaba, the translation will be he went because the Zamir is Mustatar. Mustatar mean is the hidden one. Now, let me open another screen for you. That might be even more uh, visible. Come on. Okay, look at, I believe this is the one. You see how I was saying that um, the pattern could be fa'ula, fa'ila, and fa'ala. Yes. But and I also said that you know I gave you the example of fataha, but that was a wrong example, and I mentioned that don't go by the the word, but look at the the concept that how do you substitute. But when it's a fa'ula, the the verb will be karuma. Yes. Fatuha is not a verb. Uh, is is not exist so we need to know which word go into which pattern and that is coming for in in a future lecture so faila a samia will be a good example of faila faala kafara nazara these are some of the words right mm -hmm. now look at here see here we are saying that faala faala faalu this is what i this is what i wrote down on a piece of paper right mm -hmm. faal faalat faalata faalna then this is third person muzakkar and monness then second person muzakkar and monness but if we go down further down then look what he's saying is saying that in he did the hidden pronoun is hua okay and there is no suffix meaning suffix is something which comes afterwards right at the end at the end prefix is something which comes in the beginning so when there's a homa the suffix will be alif with the fatha. That is why fa'ala become fa'ala. Is it making sense now, yes, uh, yes. Sister Umayma? Yes. And then fa'alu was the hidden pronoun was hum, but the suffix taken from that was the dhamma with the vow and the alif with sukun. Okay. Right? Vow with the dhamma and the alif with the sukun, so it becomes fa'alu. Yes. Fa'ala, fa'ala, fa'alu. And then in the monas third person, the fa'alat with the suffix taken was the ta sakina. And in the in the fa'alata, the ta with the alif. Suffix was ta. And for the fa'alna, the actual pronoun was hunna, but it was taken as the the, yeah. the sakun on the lam letter and the noon with the fatha. Okay. Is that making sense now, guys? Yes, absolutely. Thank okay, you. Good. So, uh, because we have covered this in a lot of detail, and if you look at my videos on the verb, you'll find it. So today, this is what we have covered, and this should make you understand how the suffix uh, comes into action based on the pronoun. Okay. Okay. So. Then again, for the second one, for the second person, when we say fa'alta, which means you did, that means that the sakun and ta with the fatha was taken as a suffix. And from the antuma, only tuma was taken with the, with the sakun in the beginning and sakun and tum in the antum. Yes. Okay. Same thing with the t from the anti, tuma from antuma, and tunna from antunna. Okay. 
Fa'alna was na, the sukun and na, and ana, we just took the sukun and the ta with the dhamma on it. Okay? So, this is the example. So, if we go take another word, samia. Samia means he heard. Samia, they both heard. Samiu, they all heard. Samiat, she heard. Samiata, they both heard female. Samina, they all heard. Making sense? Yes. Okay. Now, similarly for the second one, you will say Samita, you heard male. Samituma, you heard, you both heard male. Samitum, you all heard male. Samiat, Samiti, Samiti, right? You heard female. Samituma, you heard both female. Samituna, you all heard female. Now, Samena, what did that mean? We heard. Oh, we heard. Masculine. Now, in the Quran, we, we say this to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there was Samena wa Atana, that we heard and we obeyed you. You remember that verse? Samena wa Atana. Yes. yes. So, how this, so if you have this material, by the way, in your Google Drive, if you have missed the link, I can probably send you again. Now this one with the the pattern of with having a dhamma on the iron letter. See, there is a dhamma on the iron letter. So bauda, bauda, baudu, bautta or bauda, baud, baudata, baudna. Okay, some of these words are even hard for me to say, and that's where the practice will make you. So if you go through these documents. And um, one thing I want to talk about uh, today is, uh, you know, how I started giving you homework. And I believe the people who are doing the homework, they can, they can realize how beneficial it is, right? How many people can agree with the homework? I agree. I agree. Right? Yeah, it yes. really helps. Right. Really now, helps. I know the most people haven't submitted their homework. And because I didn't, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to not be a Hitler about that. <laughs> I'm leaving it up to you guys to do it because it will benefit you. But at the same token, I think we have been doing this almost more than four or five months now. So it's about time that we should start adding some quizzes and exams in our uh, subject. And what will that happen? What will that do? That will force you to test your knowledge, right? Uh, and then I can make it easy for you by making the test or the exam open book or open notes so that you don't feel, uh, you know, like, oh, oh my God, I have to do the exam. So <laughs> open book, then at least you using your knowledge to give me the answers. Will that, will that uh, be okay with you guys? I think it's a good yeah. idea. Good idea, right? Yes. Yeah, we're good idea. Idea. Good you are doing like this, yeah? I have 23 people in the in the chat but only one person saying it's a good idea no it's a good idea it's a good idea and we're having yeah. okay yeah. i think before in the beginning of the class we were yeah. doing like this yeah no if we're gonna do a test or we're gonna do an exam then we will dedicate a day or a class for that so we will be doing an exam and uh, you know we take it from there yeah. then, brother then you pass or fail us <laughs> okay <laughs> Yes, I pass you, and I, if you pass, you get the award. If you fail, then you have to bring food for everyone. How's that? <laughs> you can be granted pass. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, now let's talk about this. Uh, I don't know if you can see my screen yet, but let me try to do a quick screen. Because today we didn't get the time to um, go over the verses. So we're just gonna quickly go over this one little verse then, or what hadith. Okay, I send you send you this morning. Now, how many people even look at it? This. Yes. I do. I do. So I ask you to you know please test yourself and try translating this into English. So what is kalimatani? What? So what are we dealing with here? Musanna. Kalimatani, two words. Khafifatani. Khafif means light. 
Light words. Afifa Dani mean uh, light. Light meaning something lightweight. Okay. Alal lisani. Lisan is what? Tongue. Tongue. So there are two words. They are light on the tongue. Sakilatani. What is sakilatani? Sakil is something heavy in weight. Difficult. Sakilatani meaning heavy, heavy on the scale. The light on the tongue. Sakila Tani Phil Mizan. What is a Mizan? Scale. 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 So there are two words which are light on the tongue, but they're very heavy on the scale. Habib Atani Ilar Rahmani. Habib is something you love, something so, beloved yeah. to you. Ilar Rahmani, who's Rahman? Allah. Allah yeah. subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the meaning is two words which are easy or light on the tongue. They are heavy on the scale and are beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most merciful. What are those who word? Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. How long, do, how long does it take to say it? Mm, not even a minute. And is it heavy on the tongue? Do you feel very hard hardship saying mm. those words? No. So this was a, uh, the, uh, the saying of our Prophet sallallahu He said, Kalimatani, Fifatani, Alal Lisani, Takilatani, Filmizani, Habibatani, Il Rahmani, Subhanallah, he will be he, Subhanallah, he So, if we can say these words, inshallah, they're light on the tongue, but they're very heavy on the scale and they're beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The point was to convey the message, but at the same time, that you could translate the whole thing if you know a little bit of vocabulary. And now you know what Kalimatani is, Khafifatani. Why is it Khafifatani? Why? Because you know that the noun has to follow the pattern, right? If it's, if it's Musanna, then everything has to be Musanna. Everything is following Kalimatan. So. Exactly. Kalimatani, Khafifatani, Alalisani, Safilatani, Filmizani. Okay, so that was one thing. And then. You know, out of uh, my last lecture, I sent you the tafsir of Surat Al-Kahf for Yasir Qadi and Noman Ali Khan. And if you search, maybe you'll find other people uh, who have talked about it. And we looked at this vocabulary quickly. Did you guys take a, a look at this? Yes. Waladun, boy. Talibun, student. Rajulun, a man. Tajirun, merchant. Halbun, a dog. Tun, cat. Himarun, donkey. Hisanun, horse. Baitun, house. Now, by default, what status are these nouns in? Rafa. Rafa. Are they singular? Yes. 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 So, if you have to make Baitun into Nasa, what will you do? Baitun. Baitun. And what about the Nasjar? Baitin. Why? Because it's Wahid, right? Yeah. Okay, Kitabun. Book. 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 What will be the Musanna of Kitabun? Kitabani. And what will be the Jama of books? Kitabun. Jama Mukasar. So, what will be the, uh, the Nasab of Kutubun? Kutuban. 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 Kalamun. What will be the Musanna of Kalamun? Kalamani. What will be the Jama of Kalam? Aklamun. So Aklamun. 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 Miftahun. What is Miftahun? Key. Key. Maktabun. What is maktabun? Writing. Writing. Desk. Table. Writing table. Desk. Right? Sarirun. What is sarirun? Bed. Bed. Kursiyun. Chair. Jamalun. Beautiful. Camel. Jamalun camel. Jamilun is beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Jamal is camel. Okay. Deekun. Uh, Najmun. And star. Star. Mudarrasun. Teacher. Myself. Right? Teacher. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Kamisun. 
منديلون رومال طبيبون ان شاء الله اف يو ريمبر ذيز ووردز ذن اتس لايك وات مي بي 20 ووردز ذير اور مور سمثنگ لائك ذات سو ذاتس هاو وي انكريز اور ووكابلري باي باي ريڈنگ ذس سو اي دو ماي پارٹ باي سندنگ ات تو يو سو پليز دو يور پارٹ باي لوكين ات ات ان شاء الله ناو هو لوكت ات ذس ڈاکيومنٹ باي ذا واي ڈکشنری اي ديت اي ديت Okay, let me open it for you so that you know what I'm talking about. So this is the last thing we're going to do and then we'll call it a night. So if you look at this document, there are 38 pages. And if you, and this is a good, this is a good document for me to test you on. Okay, so let's look at it quickly, very, very quickly. So it has the parts of speech. and then it tells you exactly what i've been teaching you it talks is a good review if you just go through this one document inshallah this will give you a good good understanding so here is kind of a review okay and then look at this chart remember we did this muslimin muslim uh, muslimun musliman muslimin muslimatun muslimatan muslimatin so now if you want to do it yourself these are the words for you to do it in the same pattern and the chart is given So this could be my examination paper. I can just simply give you this and you can fill it out, right? And look at this. Did we look at some of these things today? Yes. Daraba, Fataha, yeah. right? So these things. So now you can make some of these variations, okay? And look at this, Hova, Kataba. So what will be Kataba? What is the suffix? There is no suffix for Hova. We just covered that, right? Mustatar, mm -hmm. it's hidden. The kataba mean to write something. So who wrote it? He wrote it. Mm -hmm. Kataba, they two men they wrote two. it. Katabu, the more than two men wrote it. Now, does it sound familiar? Is it already looking like a review? Because we just covered mm -hmm. this, right? Mm -hmm. So now look at this one. If you do some uh, translation yourself, inshallah, you will get to know The, the prepositions ala min ila fi an you understand wa min an nasi may yaqulu amanna billahi wa bil yawmil akhir and there are people from men are who say we believe in god and in the last day so inshallah this one document can give you a lot of information do we know this huwa who yeah. huma huma hum hum the chart right next to each other and look at this we we did this one right okay. See, you see what you guys requested me, so I give you. Now this is a a quiz chart. If I give you this, that become a quiz. If I give you an exam, this becomes an exam. So now you have the cheat sheet already. Imagine our first exam could be out of this. Okay. okay. So now look at this. Baytullah. What is Baytullah? House. Allah's house. Rasulullah. Allah's Rasul. Rasulullah. Allah's help. Allah's help. Amrullah. Allah's, Allah's Amr. Or what do you call Amr is uh, what? Comment. Okay, Abdullah. Allah's uh, servant. Allah's Naqatullahi. What Allah's is Naqatullahi? Allah's camel. Female camel. Female camel, right? From the, uh, the uh, uh, Prophet Saleh. Yawmul Fasli. What is Yawmul Fasli? The day of the The day of judgment. Right or the when you Allah Subhanahu Taala will di distinguish between the right and wrong. Laylatul Qadri. The night of the. Fi din Allahi. In the religion of Allah. The din of Allah. Very good job. Bi Rabbil Falak. The Lord of Daybreak. Bi Ashabil Fili. The companion of the companion of the elephant. We have covered this in a long time ago. Okay. So similarly, you will have some information from these are all the verses from the Quran, and then you can be able to write some of these. This could be an exam, and then uh, more stuff, uh, you know, these these kind of stuff. So I really don't want to take a lot of time, but look, you can be this can be given as an exam that you 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 give uh, English, and you provide me the Arabic. Okay. Thank uh, you. Yeah. So guys, this is your. Uh, 
preparation for the exam, inshallah. I might give you in next couple of weeks an exam out of this. So we can uh, uh, we can we can basically refer to all the tables while the exam is on, or we have to remember everything. This this can be an open book, so you can you can keep this right next to you when you're filling out the exam. I'm not here. I'm not trying to make your life hard. I'm just saying that the best way to practice and retain it in your mind is to do it and challenge yourself. Otherwise, you will keep taking it easy. It's not gonna sink in, uh -huh. yeah. right? So that's the whole idea. So. If you can go through this document, if you understand this document, wallahi, there is a lot of information in this document, these 40 pages. Look at this, you know, like you can do masculine, feminine with the uh, the different, uh, the adad and the rafa, nasab and jar. So this chart itself is a test. This chart itself is a test. And let me fast forward to the last page. This one. If you print this, this page, and if I give you, uh, you know, a root letters, you can make the table here. Fa'ala, fa'ala, fa'alu, fa'alat, fa'alata, fa'alna. You remember what I'm talking about? Like this piece of paper, if you make different um, multiple copies of these, and then you can practice the different words yourself. And I'm only asking you for fele madi at the moment. Eventually, we will know fele mudare, we will know fele amr. And then Lame Amr and La Naya and then Lam and all of these. But I'm not talking about these right now. The only first column is what you can fill it up. Yes? Okay. Yes. I took no more time than usual today. I apologize. But uh, I just thought that you need to look at this document and see the benefit of this document. Walaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Inshallah, we'll talk next time. Okay. Have a good evening. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum.